Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Code Canvas. In previous video, we we'll learn about CSS property align content. In this video, we will see align items CSS property. So the align items property is related to CSS layout. It affects how elements are aligned in Flexbox and grid layouts. So the align items property defines the default behavior for how items are laid out along the cross axis that is perpendicular to the main axis. Okay. You can simply think of align items as justify content version for the cross cross axis. Okay. Align items property accepts for, uh, different five values and we will see all five values with example that is flag start flex and center baseline and stretch okay so let's see for example we have one on order list let me give some class so we can select that flex container that is container that is a class name we have one list item one and i'm giving br so i can see two different elements in single li okay second li is number three then number four and number five and after that number six so this is example of simple ul li okay so to make it flex we need to first select this flex container okay, and we can give display flex okay, next. Okay. so when you give display flex it will be like this okay it will flex all the contents okay we can also give padding zero and margin zero that is optional but to make sure that we are selecting proper elements okay after that in li we can give a background color to tomato for example and let's see how it looks okay so to look it better we can give padding to 5 pixel okay width 50 pixel for example we can give margin same as padding 5 pixel line height we can give 50 pixel for example let's give color to white so we can uh, see that font bit let's make it bold okay text align center so it looks fine and font size let's make it 30 pixel okay or we can make it 20 okay so this is let me give it again font size 24 pixel okay let me simply copy this and paste it here okay. so this is default ally properties so as you can see this number three is looking a little bit stretched, right? Because let me add a line items and it is stretched. Okay? So this is default align items value. As you can see, it is a little bit stretched. Okay. And let's change it to baseline. So with respect to this horizontal line, horizontal axis, you can see it is now baseline. Let's make it center so it is in center so the first ul here the first li and the second one is this so with respect to this li the second one is align center that's why align items is center to make it end you can give align items as end similarly flex end flex start inherit initial normal revert self end is similar to end self start is similar to flex start start is also similar stretch it is default and if you want to make it unset you can simply give it unset right so when you have 
some uh, layout it may be a flex box or a grid and you have uh, you have some elements that needs to be aligned along with the cross axis that is perpendicular to the main axis you can use display flex and align items in a same element that is a flex container it should be a container all right so with respect to browser support it supports almost all the browsers like i it is not in use as of now but yeah it is supported by edge chrome firefox and safari as well so when you are using flex or grid and you want to make sure that items are aligned with respect to other elements you can always use this property align items and that's all all right if you are new to my channel please have a look on my channel you can find various videos on css html javascript node js and wordpress please subscribe to my channel and keep supporting if you like this video give me a like and that's all thank you for your time bye